Dude, man, aliens, they just... I don't think they want to hurt us. I think they just want to, they want to know why we can't chill. What do we think of this spaceship? Do we like the spaceship? Because I just feel like there's so much going on on planet Earth right now. Sometimes I wish I could just see it from an alien perspective and be like, wow. Side note though, doesn't this backdrop look cute? So to get in the alien spirit, there's one thing I wanted to show you guys. Are you ready? I have glow in the dark nail acrylics that I did this week. Specifically for this video, I had to make it green, you know, we had to go back with the vibes. So here we are, we're back on. Today's chat's gonna be kind of interesting. I'm kind of excited to, to talk about this. Oh, Theo's on the ship with me. He wants to say hi to everybody. Say hi. I have a zombie hair clip in. It's green for today's vibes. So normally I would start off with my like SPF. It was so hot today in Vegas. It was like 111 or 114. My office with these lights, I have like, I have one ring light, but I have several soft box lights. My office gets so hot last week. I was like, I have to do this at night. So I'm actually gonna do a double layer of concealer today. I'm gonna start with a Kylie concealer in shade Stone. Only because it's been so hot. I'm gonna go in with Clinique Beyond Perfecting in shade WN01, which is I think flax. I love the applicator on this. I'm using a wet beauty blender from uh, Beauty Bakery. I'm gonna go back in with Kylie Cosmetics Concealer in Stone. All right, I'm gonna set this with Fenty Beauty Setting Powder in Butter. I'm gonna take this big puffy pad and set this face because Vegas. I'm gonna take a super white eyeshadow base today. I'm gonna use P. Louise in Zero. I'm doing a super bright look today. I know, I'm doing something other than black shadow. So this is super pale and this will just make the um, colors really pop. I'm gonna take Fenty setting powder again with a little bit of a bigger brush and just set this base because Vegas is so hot, it's gonna, it's already creasing. I'm gonna quickly contour and highlight and all that fun stuff with my classic ColourPop palette. Brows I'm using Brow Blade in Brunette and Anastasia Beverly Hills. Give me one second. So for this galactic look that we're going for today, I had to dip into the BH uh, Cosmetics Galaxy palette. I think it's one of the cutest palettes out there if you haven't seen it. It's basically all of the planets. Um, so it's like Jupiter, Earth, Aphrodite, Milky Way, Cosmic Neptune. I think I'm gonna go for a green look. These are a lot of shimmers though. So because these are shimmers, I have two fun ColourPop palettes, Meant to Be and Just My Luck, um, which are pretty, uh, this one's like a lighter green shades, and Just My Luck has some darker shades of green. So I needed some mattes to go with this. So one of the, um, I've actually spoke about this on the podcast for Ghost Girl Diaries. The reason I'm talking about it again is there's been new development. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a Creeps and Cosmetics with this. And we're gonna talk about Unacknowledged. Now, Unacknowledged, if you haven't seen it, is a amazing documentary on Netflix, okay? The main guy that's in it is actually named um, Stephen Greer, Dr. Stephen Greer. And I started following him on social media after um, that uh, after I watched it on Netflix. Uh, actually, Steven has retweeted me a couple of times and um, he's a really cool dude. He uh, laughs at some of my, uh, you know, memes that I post regarding like making fun of the human race and um, basically saying alien life forms are like think we're idiots. <laughs> Welcome to 2020. So the documentary Unacknowledged is basically about this secret society or maybe societies that exist underground um, within the US government. It's such a secret that not even the president is a part of it because they claim the president is a quote, temporary employee. But literally Stephen Greer was able to dig up trillions of dollars that go to this program, their tax dollars. And Stephen's, um, you know, basically like where his stance is with it is he's like, if trillions of dollars of 
the Americans tax money is going to some sort of like a UFO um, division we as tax paying citizens have the right to understand and know where this money is going. He actually was able to get some like top secret CIA documentation and it's basically where our government has known in full about UFOs and existence of alien life forms forever, for literally ever. And basically what he's saying is alien life forms or alien beings do exist and basically the government is making us in fear of having alien contact but the actual danger lies within our government not telling us the truth, like not sharing with us, like yes, alien life forms, aliens do exist, outer worldly life forms exist. And like Stevens, um, where he stands with the whole alien thing, which I love, he says, you know, people are so afraid of aliens, they're afraid of being probed, they're afraid of being abducted, but if they wanted to kill us, they would have already done it. They have the technology to do it, they would have already done it. And I was like, hmm, that's, that's a legit point. But really guys, haven't you been walking like down the street and you walk by somebody and you're just like, that person's for sure not from this planet, like 100%. So basically he, this huge documentary is regarding um, how the government is keeping a secret from us. And the secret is, is that extraterrestrial life forms exist. Now the big question is, is why is the government keeping this a secret? Well, uh, so apparently, according to Stephen Greer in this documentary, the um, alien life forms that we have made contact with have um, introduced new ways of energy efficiency to our planet through our government, and they have rejected it. And the reason they've rejected it is because they don't want to put coal out of business. They don't want to put pharmaceutical companies out of business because you're talking about like multi-billion dollar um, company for as far as pharmaceuticals go, right? They don't want to put the crop business out, you know, like farmers and like people that are needed for industrialization. Basically, they're saying like all of this could be eliminated and that's partially why our planet is like dying from, you know, global warming is because aliens have the technology that they're willing to give us access to for free so that we can save our planet and be more energy efficient. It also would save us money in the long run, but the government, especially the United States of America stepped in and said they don't want to cancel all of those things out because of course it's always about money. It's about money that the government is making behind the scenes with all of these industries. They're talking about stuff in this documentary guys that is beyond like even solar energy. Like they're talking about literally like the energy in this room from these lights being plugged in could, could be like energy efficient in a way your, your home becomes self-sustaining just by the components in the air. So they're saying that this dates back decades that the government has known about this. And he's also saying that the government is who created the little green alien, which is what I'm mimicking right now. I'm sure they love it. Basically, the, the little green alien doesn't really exist. They pretty much look exactly like you and I. Yes, they may have bigger foreheads. They may have almond heads. They may have smaller mouths and large eyes but it's not the alien creature that we've created. That was something that society created to basically establish fear so that whenever we see that, it's either afraid or we make fun of it. And they did that on purpose. They're saying they implement this into the media on purpose so that when and if an alien you know, touchdown does happen, that we'll just make fun of it and, make, and turn it into like a big joke. So Stephen Greer literally has people that are like top secret CIA officials that are on and in this documentary. And they're talking about, they were a part of these like secret society, um, you know, like underground things that the government pays for, that we pay for with our own tax dollars. And he had actual documentation to back this up. It was one of the most credible um, documentaries I've ever seen and interesting regarding, you know, alien contact. He even has like military officials that are involved, but they're saying military doesn't necessarily know what's going on. Like people think the military knows what's going on. They don't, they don't know what's going on. Top secrecy, like literally even hidden from the president. They even went as far as saying that Marilyn Monroe's death was also contributed to, um, too much knowledge of alien life. So apparently Marilyn was having an affair with JFK, as we all know, 
Um, they staged it to make it look like she actually overdosed, but they have actual documentation from the CIA stating that Marilyn was killed because her phone line was tapped the night before she was found dead and she was on the phone on a personal phone call stating that she knew about alien bases on like planet Earth and JFK had actually taken her to some alien bases. She was angry because JFK would not be with her in a relationship because he was married to Jackie. And um, she was threatening to go to the press basically um, if, if JFK didn't want to be with her. Well, obviously that wasn't gonna be able to happen because you're talking about somebody who's in power in the United States. So they had to make it look like she um, overdosed. And because of you know her background with having drug issues, nobody questioned it. So there was an actual document that they had on that, which is interesting because I've always empath off of Marilyn Monroe. And I have said for years, that was like not an overdose. She was, she was murdered. I mean, she may have had her demons or whatever, but she was freaking murdered. So I just went in with um, Earth right now. It's like a little bit of like a blue. And then I'm gonna go in with um, Comet and Meteor sort of on the inner eye. So the top things that they sort of touch on in this documentary is A, you know, was Marilyn Monroe murdered for knowing too much about alien life forms? Clearly, they have proof regarding that. Ooh, Meteor is definitely the winner here. Meteor is definitely the winner. Number two, he's trying to point out that there are literally trillions of tax dollars being spent on uh, from our tax money that we pay the government for these secret government agencies that nobody knows what they're spending the money on. He believes that we have a right as citizens to know where and why our tax dollars are being spent in the trillions for these secret, you know, alien technological based type of things that are going on. The next um, that he wants us to know is that aliens do have, um, you know, access to Earth's nuclear energy and aliens are actually afraid of us because we're blowing ourselves up. We're in these world wars. All this stuff is happening. It's also conspiracy saying that some of the world wars that we've had were actually set up by our own people, that our governments actually did it. And aliens look at us with a lot of concern because they don't understand why we're wanting to not only kill ourselves, but kill our planet, which is a really, really good point. Also, aliens find us to be the dangerous one, um, considering there's probably many other, you know, life forms out there they consider earthlings dangerous and that's because we kill each other and we are a threat to them as well. That really tr like change changes things, doesn't it? Like when you think about it, like that really, you're like, oh, it's a good point, isn't it? I think I'm gonna go in with Electra, which is like a really light blue um, for like a brow bone sort of highlight. He also has astrophysicists that are involved, which I'm obsessed with because I love science. I'm such a nerd when it comes to all that stuff. The documentary is just done beautifully in my opinion. Now in 2019, this is where like the information starts to change. In 2019, the Navy started confirming that they did in fact have videos of UFOs or you know unidentified flying objects. Fast forward to um, April of 2020, we're in the middle of a pandemic. People are pretty panicked. They think that we're not paying attention and they release you know, actual footage of an unidentified flying object that was captured by our you know, military. Now you fast forward to July of 2020 and the Pentagon has released information stating that they have vehicles that are made from out of this world. The document was actually released. So our government is actually admitting that we have access to alien technology. Now, Stephen Greer in the actual documentary takes it even further than that. Stephen Greer says, yes, we have had access to that technology, but the government has gone as far as they've already um, replicated it and some of the quote, alien abductions that we have heard of, they've actually been disguised as alien abductions and it's actually our own government doing this. Now this also goes back to um, him saying, you know, a lot of the wars that have taken place aren't actually, you know, from like us fighting with them, it's from us causing our own wars. So he claims that there will be a quote, alien invasion staged 
by the United States government. Apparently the last war, which was against Iraq and Afghanistan, was one of the last things that has been pre-planned for decades. And the final step, the final stage, is implementing a uh, fake alien invasion that will happen. And, and they think they're getting closer. Now this is where the information starts to change. First of all, I'm gonna go in with something dark. I think I'm gonna do Neptune and Pluto on the under um, underwater part. I mean, for me, it makes so much sense. I don't know how you guys feel, but it's like, you know, we are killing ourselves. We are killing our planet. Like, I'm sure other life beings are like these people, man. They're probably like, if you drive by Earth, whatever you do, lock your doors. Don't open your doors. It is so dangerous there. So this is Neptune, which is like a blue. It's kind of like a metallic blue. I'm gonna go back through and smudge it out when I'm done. I'm just um sort of packing it on the lower water line. And then I think I'm gonna do Pluto, which is like a grayish blue on this outer corner. Pluto is like a grayish, kind of like a titanium. Oh, it actually has like a kind of purple hue to it. Not bad, okay. We're gonna go for like super alien today. I'm gonna drag that up. I'm gonna dip into this little light green here and I'm gonna just buff this out lightly on the bottom. Ooh, it was almost like a greenish yellow. Just my luck has this like super bright, kind of like crazy green color. I think I'm gonna use that for my inner corner. There's a little bit of fallout on the B&H palette, but actually I'm kind of impressed it, was, it wasn't that bad. Also another movie, if you're into like um, alien movies, Paul is hilarious. If you've never seen it, you have to watch it. No, I'm digging this alien look, man. I know I usually do like a crazy like dark lip or something like that, but I feel like this is very soft alien look. Does that exist? Soft alien? No. So I'm gonna use some Wet n Wild, just my regular Caught You Bare Naked. It's one of my faves. It's a very just like plain, sheer, that's what we need. And last, some setting spray, but wait, something's missing. I wish I said alien instead of zombie. But it's okay. So this completes my alien ship look. But we're not done, because I want to keep talking about the rest of this documentary. Now the last new thing that I have to report regarding um, Stephen Greer, which I'll link his social media below so that you can find it. He said that he believes that the reason the United States is releasing all of this information that aliens exist and that they have alien technology is because he thinks that the next step is going to be a fake alien invasion. So what does that mean? That means that the government already has access to these outer world vehicles. They've already recreated them, they've made them. These ships are gonna show up somewhere and they're going to hurt people, harm people, and pretend and blame it on the aliens, basically. It's actually gonna end up being our own government that does it. He also has documentation showing that some of the abductions that are already happening today are actually our military doing it. Same with the cattle mutilations. Those are not alien. Those are our own people doing it to create fear and scare people. He's saying that aliens are not here to harm us. They want to help us, but that our government is stopping it from happening. It's a really, really amazing documentary. I encourage all of you guys to watch it. It is called Unacknowledged on um, Netflix. And another really good series if you're wanting to watch is Blink-182, Tom DeLonge. He has done one series so far. I heard there may be a second series in the works. And his um, premiered on History Channel. You can find it. I'll link it below as well. I hope you guys enjoyed my alien look. I hope you guys loved um, talking about it as much as I did. I hope you also loved the ship that I had to borrow for today. I appreciate the aliens that let me borrow it. Um, going back to the Galaxy Chic um, palette, this is by BH Cosmetics. Um, I love B&H Cosmetics. Um, the price of this is like $12 for the palette. Um, I actually have a few of these that I'm gonna end up doing for you guys um, with alien related stuff. So if you're looking for inexpensive, beautiful makeup, BH is awesome, BH Cosmetics. This is the Galaxy Chic palette. Thank you guys so much for coming and sharing this adventure with me today. Please give my video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave me spooky comments below. Do you guys believe in aliens? I do 100%. I have an alien story that I'll have to share at some point down the line. Leave your alien stories below. Leave your comments below. If there's anything you guys want me to talk about or see next, please let me know. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. Dude, man, aliens, they just...
I don't think they want to hurt us. I think they just want to, they want to know why we can't chill. I want to know, like, I want to be their friend and like hear them be like, damn, like your planet's messed up. I'm gonna be like, welcome to 2020, boo. Welcome to 2020.